Darth Vader. After the destruction of the Death Star, Darth Vader became obsessed with finding Luke Skywalker. He had dispatched probe droids across the galaxy, finally locating the Rebel base on the remote ice planet of Hoth. Hello and welcome to Centurion's Corner and today we're reviewing the Emperor Strikes Back 40th Anniversary Darth Vader. Now he's here all represented in his kind of uh, Kenner original packaging with the Kenner down here and the chaser ring around the outside and looking fine in this single kind of blister pack. This guy already this year has three releases. We've got this guy, then he come out in the wave pack and also he come out in the carbonized edition as well. Uh, I was um and annoying whether to pick up this Darth Vader or not. Uh, I did make a custom of the A New Hope to represent this Darth Vader. But seeing some posts on the Instagram and there's a few additions to the sculpt and the posing ability, I decided to go and get him because we do need the best Vader we can possibly get. And if I miss out on that, then I'm going to kick myself. So anyway, with the card, yeah, we have the chaser ring, as I said, and everything on there. On the back, we just got the wave, which is Chewie, the Snow Trooper, Boba Fett, Luke Skulk and Darth Vader. So I've got this one in the sort of like with the Yoda. This one I got with the C-3PO. I picked up this guy from Smith's the other week. Darth Vader and Boba Fett I got in the archive anyway. And this guy I picked up on Amazon for $19.99, which is pretty good. So without further ado, let's crack this bad boy open. So here he is in his blister pack. Nothing new to sort of show off, and I think he's just got his lightsaber. So we can take him out to have first impressions. Let's take his copper in the back. Ooh. So he's actually his face and uh, his helmet looks pretty cool, and I didn't think you could actually get better than the last sculpt. So I will definitely will be sort of uh, doing a few comparison shots between the both and uh, we'll get on with the review. So I'll go away now, take his photos and I'll see you in a moment. So welcome back, I've been away taking these photos and yeah, he's a pretty good figure. I do feel like it's a little bit curiosity killed the cat for me. Um, I will do a comparison towards the end of the video of the other Darth Vader's, so just bear with it as we go through his review. So there's a few things I do like about this figure and there's a few things I don't. Um, but starting off, he comes with his one accessory, which is his lightsaber. So it's quite robust, it's quite nice. The uh, hilt itself is quite of a harder plastic than usual. The silver looks almost kind of a little bit of a chrome effect on there. And no colour bleed or anything like that. And also the gold little pin on there. The blade is removable and can just be pulled out. You can see that there's a carved part on here, which the others do come with as well. So it gets a really nice snug fit inside Darth Vader's hilt there. So with that, it comes with the silver clip on the side and that fits a lot better than the ones before. It is still a bit rubbery on the belt but it's a little bit more firmer so we can just tuck that on there and um, it's pretty good. It's not going to hold on there as a toy play thing but for toy photography or just having simply just standing on the shelf with that lightsaber on there it will be fine but anything else it's just going to fall off quite quickly because this kind of pushes it off as well and it doesn't really sit 100% firm on there but at least it clips on unlike before so going through that we can actually go through his articulation as well and um, this is where this Darth Vader comes up trumps compared to the rest it's just got a little bit more movement there kind of put a bit more character in it and again for that toy photography kind of sort of thing so his head we can turn left and right he can look down and he can look back He's also got this kind of swagger and sort of bits on here as well. Um, so you can actually get a kind of a few good looks on here. Arm, um, we've got the rotation at the top. We've got the rotation here. 
at the elbow joint and also it's on a 90 degree elbow bend and goes up a little bit more than that 90 degrees actually. We've got rotation at the wrist which is also on a hinge which then brings me up to this part and the head swagger. So instead of before we had to get that left and right kind of look there to do Luke, I am your father, we can actually bring that head down and actually get him into that kind of more meaningful kind of pose rather than just with a floating head on top of the shoulders, which is pretty cool. He's got an upper fire, uh, sorry, uh, upper waist rotation here. It doesn't bend forward or back. It just literally just swivels. And it was really stiff at first. I actually first thought he didn't have a swivel there. Uh, uh, with a big chunky click, it started to move. Legs wise, they go up this far, forward and back. And we've got a rotation here up the upper thigh and a double jointed uh, knee bend at the bottom here. And we've got the rocker and pivot at the ankle. And that's kind of it really for his kind of movement and stuff on there. The only thing I would say is that all this part from here upwards is all brand new. Anything down below is old Darth Vader. And anything that needed to change really before was this part down below. So when we put him on the shelf, unfortunately, you just push him down and he starts splitting. And that's just not me sort of really exaggerating. He just has loose legs and that's what was the old Darth Vader as well before he did have loose legs and I was kind of hoping that this one was a little bit better. So you always have to give him a little bit of support while you're kind of putting him in, in his position before um, displaying. So all in all, that's obviously the new sculpt at the top. So we take a closer look. So the helmet wise, when I first got him out, I actually really digged it. I thought it was great. We got the Harley Quinn look where we got a bit of a lighter gunmetal grey to compare to the black here on this side and we got the black this side and the silver on that side and that is reminiscent of the actual Vader helmet itself just so when it was showed up on screen it wasn't a big black mass the light pick light sort of pixelated each part and um, shone as it wills so we got black this side on the grill and light grey on here the helmet is actually more of a shinier kind of black on there nice black gloss uh, this part here is new, but I'm not too sure about on the um, black parts here. I, this one seems a bit wider than this side, so I, I need to look at some photos actually to see if that's the case or it is just a bit of too much of a colour bleed on there. The arm itself is all brand new and the, um, the sculpt as well, it actually looks really good. It actually looks a bit like a padded kind of black suit over, over an arm which looks good. It doesn't look like a sculpted arm, if that makes sense. It actually looks like what it's supposed to. It looks like material uh, and a bit chunky. The box is smaller than before. Uh, we've got all the nice switches. We've got the writing underneath it this time. And it actually, get a nice close shot of it. It's actually done quite nicely. There is a bit of a color thing up here, but maybe I've, I've knocked that off there. The belt, kind of same before. And um, everything on there. And then the legs, exactly the same as we had, but obviously with a, a black gloss at the bottom for the boots. Underneath, not much change on his bum. And up here, we've got that kind of uh, bit that goes over. And obviously you can see that his robes now go underneath. His cape is a little bit too big for me. I mean, his wingspan is mahusive and I kind of hope that was one thing that was going to change about this figure. Because when you are posing him around, he's this cape is massive, it's just absolutely insanely too big. But um, you know, I always feel like I have to sort of tuck it in to get to the right required length. I want I want to see his arms just slightly, I want it just hanging over that sort of shoulder there. I don't want it sort of coming right across his front or anything like that. So in all, he's pretty cool, but now we can go to the comparison. So over to this side, we'll put the new figure. Um, so originally we had the, a new hope. Uh, Darth Vader, uh, the 40th anniversary one this is, and um, you know, just sort of size and sort of structure of the figure, I just feel it looks more menacing, the shoulders are more broader, the head is slightly bigger, and I know that they redesigned the Darth Vader helmet in the Empire Strikes Back to make it was a bit smaller because it was oversized in the original, but I just feel like it looks more like Vader than this one, it just, when I... 
when they're not compared to each other, I think this looks great. But when I've got them there, it just it's more elonged. You can see the sort of like facial kind of parts there. It, it to me it looks just it looks more Vader than this one. So I haven't done a video on it or anything. It was one of one of my sort of earlier customs. So I went along and had two of these guys. So I just darkened his eyes with a kind of like a, a silver wash, or well, like a gunmetal grey kind of thing overdone the buttons and everything like that to actually create this guy and that's why I weren't too sure about purchasing this one. So bringing these two together, I kind of feel, I don't know, it's just this part up here, I feel like the helmet is a bit too small on his shoulders and everything as well. It's just like this is more detailed than this. You know, I haven't done black on here, I didn't realize that his shoulder parts were more black on, on there, but I can always go over that as well. Um, and these green buttons are slightly a little bit bigger as well on the newer one. But um, it will grow on me. I do like the head swagger and everything up there. Uh, is it enough improvements for me to say that this is a definitive kind of Darth Vader? No. I think it still needs to sort of fall in line with these two, to be honest with you. But nonetheless, you know, I know I kicked myself down further down the line if I didn't purchase him and he sold out and I'd be like, ah, I should have got him because I didn't never knew what he was like. Uh, and now I do know and I wish I did actually purchase another figure in that time. But if you haven't done this and you've only got the New Hope kind of Darth Vader, then, then by all means go for it, I suppose. But it each their own. So that kind of brings me to the end of the uh, review. Are you going to get this one? Have you purchased this one? Do you think he looks great? Do you think he does not? Let me know in the comments down below. I'll be posting more pictures of him on Instagram, which is also in the description with the link to my Instagram account. So you can follow along and you can subscribe and ding that bell. So until next time, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.